Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. We're going to be talking about some flat earth deceptions, truths. Sort out the shills and the trolls. See if I can get some people on here. If anybody wants to join in, uh, you're more than welcome. Check out my word. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? Turn, uh, turn the extra volume down a little bit. <laughs> the Martin's just going crazy. Hey, Martin Stray, I got the number one question to you. Do you like Don Perignon? Like what? Do you like Don Perignon? Of course. I can drink that shit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Refreshing, she might be a good. Can't. What up? What's up, man? Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Are we doing so, video or just audio? Uh, we can just do audio. It sends the trolls into a rage. Okay.
So yeah, man, how's are you keeping it pretty flat or what? What? So are you keeping it pretty flat? Yeah, I mean, well, you said the Earth was a ball earlier, so kind of made me question it a little bit. Wow, all that whole uh, Bill Hicks stuff got me going and shit. So yeah. I was like, dude, that shit, when it comes down to, like, demo records and stuff, that's pretty solid. Yeah. <laughs> not saying that we've seen the demo records, but. You got a. I just seen a video uh, a little bit ago. A guy posted it, like, 20 minutes ago. Um, see, so, uh you, these guys that are on this flat earth stuff, they don't like you redoing any video, uh, live video on your stuff because they're just, I don't get it, but they're all about copyright and not being fucked with. Right. So the earth is uh, three times bigger than they've been saying? I guess so, because they've been trying to measure the curve. Um, and uh, it's it's not what they've got posted on NASA's thing, I guess. It's like three inches per square per mile squared instead of the eight or something like that. Three and a half inches. Do you still think that um the yeah, puddle theory is uh, valid? Uh on our little patch of the planet, probably. Yeah. I mean, that moon stuff that uh, you were sharing too, that was that was pretty good. That one guy, that one like 1990s footage or whatever, that was pretty good. Oh shoot, what was that? That uh, the moon, uh, uh, the freaking cities and shit that are on the moon or whatever. Oh, that Andromeda guy. Yeah. Alex Coley or something. Uh, I don't have chat available yet. I don't know how to turn it on. Figure that out. See it? <laughs> you, you, think, you think we're going to get a lot of people coming on this uh, hangout late by, by tonight? Uh, oh yeah. Um, well, just I set it up to around two hours because uh, the other guys usually start up. But Jeff uh, Stewart and um, Robert did theirs uh, about like two two hours ago, so they're already done for the day. And then all that's left is pretty much Ace is going to go up. And then I figured I'd start early, bring you into the mix, let let people see who you are. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave this up all night. <clears throat> oh, freaking! How do you uh, how do you get any of the uh, chat? So, how do you enable the chat? I don't know. Mine was just my group chat's just right on the um the right side corner. Yeah, there should be like. Uh, like the chat for all the people to talk and rage out. Oh, I don't even know where that is then. Oh, man. oh it's the um, little blue icon on the left hand. It says what? chat. Yeah, I press that. It just brings it up in, in here or something. Oh. Know. Yeah. So it's probably disabled for me or something. I'm trying to look it up. YouTube help. Live chat badges. Watch the video demo.
So you know uh, that you know that big pharma dude that uh, raised the price on that medicine or whatever, that Shrokelly guy or whatever. Oh, I can't even say the name. Yeah, I was a uh, I was on a video chat, like a live chat thing, where he was had people on there asking questions and stuff. And I okay. got, I got my camera on there and I, and I asked him if he still had that Wu Tang album that he bought for two million. And he's oh, like, yeah. he's like, who said that? <laughs> and then <laughs> I was like, me. And then he then he got me off the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with this. I don't have permissions to uh, access my own stuff. So anyways, uh, if you don't got any chatters, this won't work. I'll do search it, I can buy chat in a window. Might been up to. Uh, yeah, well, let me change that. Uh, um, Oh, that's weird. I'm doing it wrong. Well, something. Supposedly, it's supposed to be working, but yeah. Uh, these flat earthers, dude. What do, you, what do you think? No, man. Like, I think they have some pretty good points and everything, but every time I try, uh, like, posting some stuff about it, everyone, it just gets criticized. Yeah. A lot of hate. I mean, I'm, I'm glad there's the people are being open about it and like uh, actually like having intelligent discussions about the possibility of it and stuff. Especially since uh, nobody has actually uh, gone across Antarctica without being stopped by the government or uh, or whatever. Like no one's actually like gone across through the Antarctic because there'd be just more land. So. Well, this guy Robert is trying to freaking do it. Yeah, it's like I'm thinking like if if they do an actual expedition through that, that'd be sweet. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. But yeah, I definitely think that uh, NASA's time and stuff. I mean, all their stuff. You look at it. I just they were posting stuff on Facebook today about. And it don't look like he's looking at the water and stuff. Yeah, yeah I was watching that too. It, it looks okay. fake as hell. He's looking at a, mo- at a monitor to see where the water is at and then looking back at it and trying yeah, to follow it. If you look at the uh, image inside the water bubble itself, it's the same image. Even though it's moving, it should be like reflecting movement. And it's the same image. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, NASA's definitely hiding a bunch of shit. No doubt about it. Most of the pictures they have on the internet are all like CGI or painting. It's not even yeah. real. <laughs> and the ragers and the freaking the downplayers, like every freaking thing I share about flat earth, it's just like, <laughs> dude, it's wrong. Uh, so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna slave out and just drink a bunch of fluoride or something. <laughs> Let's get back into the uh, <laughs> Let's go fall. Slave. 
feel the burn. Start vote. Just vote for Bernie Sanders. Just feel the burn. Vote for Sanders and Cha. <laughs> Oh, it sucks. Uh, can't enable uh, chat. Go to Google phone settings, Google phone settings. How is this? What? It makes no sense. Yeah, SoundCloud's not looking that good either, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, it's just all, they're just flooding everything, you know, you can't get any ground anywhere. I'm saying we should do some like a uh, like barn uh, party get togethers every like Saturday or something like that. That'd be sweet. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Everyone's on Flat Earth Conspiracy episode one right now. 62 <laughs> watching. No one's watching us. But I'm going to check it out real quick. See what the hell is going on. They're offline. They're raging. Bringing the world together. 60 summer rockets. Flat Earth Conspiracy Channel. Free our Flat Earth Episode 1. Uh, I just think it's freaking crazy. How people can do this shit. Just fuck with America and fuck with people around the planet and stuff. Just like Bill Hicks and yeah, fucking Mass Powerland, etc., etc. Alex Jones died. <laughs> right? Dude, if Alex Jones truly did die, I'm scared. Like, seriously, you guys? You know, that crazy? If that if that shit's really going on, like, who knows what else is going on that's like more insane than that? <laughs> no people. I'm about to just slave out. <laughs> I'm out of yeah. 
It's supposedly supposed to be area, I don't know, whatever. But, uh... <clears throat> I don't see that. There's gold. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We're live at the Flatters. And there's absolutely nothing going on. <laughs> you know? Alright, I'm back. Oh, hey, I'm talking. So, yeah, if anybody wants to get in this hangout, you um, can message me, Jake. But we're talking about the flat earth shows and other hot potatoes. We have no live chat right now. In the early Egyptians uh, and Mesopotamians believed that the world was portrayed as a flat disk floating in an ocean. Yeah, I believe that. And the Israelites had a similar uh, uh, belief that the earth was a flat disk floating on water beneath uh, beneath like some something that separated it from the heavens. Well, from what I've been seeing it's like uh, gravity doesn't exist, like it just doesn't. There is that thing that I was saying that the uh, radiation from the sun as it actually makes gravity. I wonder if that could be true. Oh yeah, I see that. And then they, uh, yeah, and then they said they uh, the reason why there's pyramids all over the earth is because it uh it helps uh stimulate a uh, a stable uh, gravity so the weather's not oh, okay. Yeah. So hi, Lord. And here we go. We got Lori Ferry and Lawrence on uh, God now uh, on their Flat Earth Conspiracy channel. Idea wants uh, and I to go back to where we started this thing uh, several months ago. And that's uh, Cindy Link. Investigating what the heck is going on with Flat Earth. And uh, the old show was this week in Flat Earth. And, uh, and, and, uh, but now we're, we're moving on to more intense studies of, of what's wrong with the flat earth maps and models and, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, they're, they're up to date. Yeah, they're up to date. They're still around. Yeah. We should just do commentary on this channel. Chill <laughs> See, these people turn off their chat and stuff so that people can't rage out and stuff. Right. They don't want people gumming up the words and the information um, trying to get out in the side app. Yeah. Uh, the people have heard of. 
Yeah. And these people are the veterans, uh, silent veterans right here. Um, either deliberately or through ignorance. Uh, and the, I just had a quick run through today. So these are the people mm -hmm. who are mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. through today. Oh, so so let's go through one or two of them. These were just the ones I picked out in about 10 minutes. So we've got Russian vids. Yeah, this people actually do video though. Uh, journalism, Weiss, Fisher Spear, Wade White, which was known as Mark Knight, Jeffrey Drew, Circulating Spear, Um Allegedly Dave, um, Fisher Spear, otherwise known as Dean Murphy 25, yeah. Jesse Spots. If you're listening uh, right now, we're watching uh, the Flatters from Spears and Live Stream and commentary over. Uh, we're not rebroadcasting any of that. We shouldn't be able to do it. As cash and, uh, so if you go over to Flatters Conspiracy and you look up Flatters Live for us right now, you'll uh, be able to watch it with us. We, we spent 13 weeks telling them exactly what's wrong with it, and they're still persisting with it, as though we've never said a word. And uh, that's the problem we've got. And uh, unless we can get more people involved in uh, exposing this conspiracy within the Flat Earth movement, um, there is a conspiracy so within the flat earth movement. Yeah. Um, uh, you got the flat earth movement, and then you got like different like, captures and different uh, people within that. They don't have like similar beliefs, but uh, the things we're saying is right out of it. It's, it's, it's like a reincarnation of, I was seeing this other video, it's like a reincarnation of like Christianity yeah. in a different format. Yep. You know, I mean, this guy seems pretty legit. Yeah. Like he doesn't seem like he's a show. He's trying to sort it all out a little bit. Yeah, this false hope that freaking Bill Hicks starts. It's the same shit, bro. It's the same shit. I'm seeing like like Alex says, Bill says there's they got a they got a book. They're reading a book, a pro book. Yep. And this is the same thing going on right here. But I mean that you are all You know, I think that is now fair is that people are allowed to go out and, and I guess lead people into oblivion. It just seems. You know, whether it's NASA or, or it's the individual on YouTube, you're leading people or, or you know, you're Alex or whatever. You're just to lead people in a circle chase, you know, where everyone's just chasing their, the tail. Right. All those names that are right now, they all got the, uh, the flat-earth Oscars. You know what I'm like? A flatty? I don't like flatties. 
Nope, no. No genuine. Flatties that start out as flatties and they just end up slaving out. <laughs> this flattery stuff was pretty good for a while, but I think I'm going to slave out now. <laughs> just to fit in. I don't follow this this girl very much. I mean, she seems like she doesn't have any uh, anyone telling her what to do. Obviously, she's got nothing. Like she can't pull off an experiment and show anybody. She just shows up and talks. Right. We're getting some viewers now. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to know who to trust. You know, you get the one, you get kind of your favorites and stuff, and then, then it's kind of, they let you down. A little circular model, little circular dome over the top. None of which. I don't know, dude. It, it might be, yeah, none of which can be verified exactly. Might remain a mystery until, like, I don't know, someone just gets in a freaking, like, spaceship and just freaking flies around. <laughs> right. Well, you know, it's, they were talking about that, uh, the, uh, once you get up there, you know, your wings don't work and, you know, if the thrust doesn't work, so you sort of just put it out and then you fall back. Yeah. So, you know, you got to have wings produce buoyancy, you know what I mean? It's, that's what's happening. By moving through the air and one side moving faster than the other, you're cramming, uh, more substance under it, creating buoyancy under you. And then once you get up there, you reach that limit, and then you stop. It, it doesn't go any, the balloons don't go any higher once they reach that limit. Once they're floating on top of the water, they're not going any higher. You know? So there's, there's, there's probably nothing even beyond any of it. Like the whole space and everything is just all projection. Right, like they were like we were talking last night about the moon being uh, hollow, and then they just fill it with helium, and it's up there and stuck up there. Yep, <laughs> it's, it's like a giant balloon. Yeah, and the ISS, like they were going into it earlier on uh, Robert's channel. Uh, planet, what was it called? Uh, Project Planet or something. Yeah. What talking about the ISS being fake and shit, and that's all fucking true. Yeah. You're not up there. Yeah, it's, it's impossible to maintain a, a freaking like complex machine. Yeah. With just when, uh, floating around. With your I mean, when are you gonna go get the people out of there and bring them back? Like, when's that happening? I don't see that going on. Right. Yeah. Obviously not going up there and back and forth because people need to come home from the fucking hotel. This is bullshit. It's crazy. What do you think about the uh, Nibiru, the Nibiru thing that they say we're going to see? No, I brought that up last night and shit, but... Uh, there's, there's just, there's no, it's not happening, dude. Yeah, because, um, I remember there was a big hype about it in 2011, too. Um, everyone was talking about Nibiru back then, too. And it, it never, it never showed up for anything, so. Right. I thought it was cool and everything, and I, I wanted to get into it and stuff, but nothing ever happened with it, so. I just couldn't get it. Right. Right. Oh, uh, this is the Sunday show, the show show, and Flat Earth Conspiracy. <laughs> uh, 
I just can't get like what are you what is she battling on about? I don't it's all just jargon. She's just gonna keep going. What are we gonna show? It's jargon, yeah. It's just all flat earth jargon. <laughs> the earth is flat. <laughs> the earth is bigger than what they're telling us. There's more land. Guaranteed. So what do they do they just shoot people if they keep going? Uh, past the uh, drawn map limits. Oh yeah. That's so, oh, apparently Jeff's got this like multimillionaire or something involved now. Oh. That's like ready to buy plane tickets for people in chat. Just to go see the edge. Huh. I'm not, they're like, uh, Ace fucking asked me if I wanted to go. He'd tell Jeff in chat. And I'm like, fuck no. And he's like, yeah, exactly. Like, fuck my shit. I'm not going to be killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. It's like we all want to know, but like nobody's nobody's gonna be that great to waste their life for it. <laughs> I want to live to know it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not how it works in this world. Uh, we got nobody watching, but I don't care. We're just hanging out. Yeah. All these people are showing their files and stuff. Like what they've been looking at and all this and like what's their real name and stuff. There's an email that is. It's just got lots of maps on this one. It's got lots of maps on it. All those maps are fake. I wouldn't believe any of that. So this is a good uh, example of what not to believe, even though it's a good example of what to believe. Right. Okay. Sorting up the truth and the lies and the shills. He obviously has office. Yeah. I bet if you went to, I bet if you went to Antarctica, you just see a bunch of, like, if you went like way into Antarctica, you probably just start seeing a bunch of aliens like walking around and shit, like doing dumb stuff. <laughs> this map is wrong. Uh, this map is horrible. I mean, they're just, they're showing it like you can go all the way around it, but I don't even think you can go all the way around it in a circle. Yeah, every time I, every time I talk to people about the flat earth, always like this, the, the main thing they always say is they're always like, cool, oh, then how can you travel around the world? So they don't, they don't get, they don't know how to picture it. They picture it all wrong. <laughs> It's like, no, you can still go like every time you have to travel, you're either like going like straight across from like Alaska to Russia, there. Yeah. and then like you're never going out into that Pacific area up in the, the top left of that map that she's showing. Like, no one's ever going out there, like, you're not going out there. And, and look how much there should be another Africa sized continent over there, at least. Yeah, definitely. And that's like the biggest continent in the whole freaking world. So they're hiding like at least a quarter of the land. <laughs> Even if it's a globe, they're still hiding a quarter of the land. Yeah, there's a bunch of shit out there. For sure. But, I mean, the deception's out there. Alex Jones, Bill Hicks, it's been proven in his teeth. <laughs> you said and, and his weight. Like, who gains, who gains 150 pounds? In like six months, nobody. <laughs> it's it's impossible. So, do they? He maybe Alex Jones did get into Bohemian Grove, and then they killed him, and then they had to have Bill Hicks uh, come in and like uh, take over the rap to say that he didn't get killed. Yeah, I think that's what fucking happened, dude. 
Yeah, because that's around the time when uh, when that was going on, when Bill Hicks uh, apparently died was going to Bohemian Grove. That right, means his whole family's got to be crisis actors. Yeah. Well, well, we never even see his family, you guys. So they're already like in their roles somewhere. We never even see his family. He could be saying he's got family, but we're, we're never going to see it. So, you know, David Knights and all that freaking. Uh, he might be an underling. Who knows? You know, Alex is the handler. Yeah. <laughs> I can't listen to this Lori Ferry on and on and on like that, though. Right. Yeah, well, she's, she's getting out of now. Yeah, the sun circling around doesn't work, and the continent sizes don't work. So it's like, even if there was that much continent on the one side, isn't it at some point going to make like the Earth off? Off balance. Oh yeah, definitely. So well, that's there's got to be more land. That's why there's probably underwater pyramids to keep it balanced. There's got to be underwater pyramids over there. Well, they just posted that uh, link from Jeff's. Uh, that thing that Jeff was on earlier. Pretty cool. Pretty good. About the, all about the ISS and stuff. Oh. He's got like that. Robert's guy's got like hookups to some good, like some serious info. Like, I don't know if he's like outside of the country or something. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be out of it. somewhere isolated, uh, with that kind of shit. Boy, Flair is just collaborating on it. Glenn likes to watch show with kids. We mentioned uh, Mark Sargent saying the USGS official map, map of the weather is the AE map. So I'm screen sharing that. So if you don't and, I'm not, and we're not saying that the Earth is like completely flat. You know, we're saying that. Okay, so it's, it could be like bald, like bulbing up or something, you know, like right. Yeah. Oh, basically, all we're doing is, is we're just letting people know that. So if we go down, down the, the very ancient yeah. Uh, I mean, think if, if, uh, is. Right. if they're going to uh, throw in uh, the fact that they, I mean, how do we discredit uh, the group coming out and saying that the Earth is is bigger? We tell them that it's flat, not that it's bigger. We control the narrative to say that we're on a flat earth. We can discredit everybody when the, when the actual fact is that it's three times the size bigger than it actually is. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see them like enough evidence will come out to where they'll look, they'll look stupid and they'll just change the name of it and say something else. Like, oh, yeah, well, we discovered the earth is way bigger than we thought it was. With just to kind of discredit that it's not flat, but you said define it as stage. Yeah, but if you say you're paying whether or not it's flat or round, not whether or not it's bigger or small. Right. So you're, you're just controlling the narrative, and you throw all these people out there, and uh, it just says that the earth is flat, and it just keeps discrediting it and discrediting it until people get bored with it. They, they become the same again. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like you instantly wake up and then get a tranquilizer of the flat earth. I mean, these guys are like government pages and shit looking at this stuff. Like, dude, you're, you're on the page that's fooling you. <laughs> you're on the, the people's pages that is fooling you. And the argument is that they're putting out uh, the, the actual information is put out there, but no one just goes to look for it. Right. Well, you're really going to spend all that money and not, not uh, code the websites to fool people, too? <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think like there's a lot of uh, flat archers out there that are being currently paid uh, to kind of slave out and just make the whole movement look stupid just so that they uh, hopefully still win. I think they're infiltrating the 
uh, some of the flat earthers, the globalists are. They're paying them off to make it look stupid. They're all freaking out. Like the the video has been working for twenty minutes now, and, and now they're having a problem all of a sudden. Yeah. No. Everything's fine, you guys. Let's zoom in on it real little bit. Let's watch someone else's video. Take their freaking copyright material and their intellectual freaking creation, show it for three seconds. And we got Jeff Stewart out there that's saying, if you freaking show any freaking bit of my stuff, I'm going to sue you. And uh, we have the money to do so. <laughs> Calm down, you guys. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, everyone's going to go and take your shit and twist it and pay you for There are already going to be thousands of people that are coming out every day making a new flat earth video. And the people are coming out with this dome idea and stuff. And, like, even math, like, it's like they're hiding land. But then he goes straight to the flat earth sharing. to uh, discredit it, I think, you know. He's an actor. He's a comedian, actor. Just like a bunch of these other shows that are out there uh, that they were talking about in the first air. Roy Freer is not an actor. Right. This, uh, Lou, I don't even, I forgot his name. Lawrence guy is not an actor. Is that on the screen now? Did you see any of the Pauline's uh, uh, movies that he did? No. Oh, God. It was fucking no, hilarious. This, this and then and uh, you saw the debunk video, so uh, exposing the, uh, him. Yeah, probably. He's wearing Masonic shit and doing all the signs and cutting goats and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what was that one that you sent me where that where the guy was like dressed up in like uh, sheets or something like that? He looked like he was gay or something. <laughs> oh yeah, Eric Duvet. Yeah. Eric Duvet, the pillowcase cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man, if Ace is on. Oh look at that picture. Send me message. Uh, I just lost the other live stream I was watching. We are flat earth. You are back now. Flat is here. Flat is there. It's uh. The flat earth is a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy to to elude you uh, in a direction. Well, you know, another thing is like they're saying that. I guess Chicago is pretty much at the sea level, so there is a curve. They found the curve. It's three point five to four inches per square mile squared. Let's show the map. Let's show the fake maps. Show the fake maps, you guys. You can't even yeah, them. <laughs> single core computers we're working with here. Uh, what are you drinking? Seven up. Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of non caffeinated stuff lately. I don't know. So if uh, Alex Jones is a show, man, like, uh, should we be taking the name <laughs> I'm still in shock that the real Alex Jones is dead. Like, I believe that for a while. Like, that's... I do. Uh, dude, that skinny guy got killed, and then all of a sudden, Bill Hicks, next video that shows up, if he's, he alludes you to the fact that he was missing. I haven't done it. That was crazy. Uh, Rumors aren't true, I'm here, ha huh? and he's got a gap in his teeth all of a sudden, and he's fat. Oh, dude, this is bad, dude. Poor Alex Jones, man. 
Um, and then his, his Twitter name is the real Alex Jones. It's in your face. In your face. What are you guys doing? You know, to try and make it in a true, true, true uh, south, south is not in the middle of Antarctica. Out, north to 180, side, north to 90, north they actually fly over true south in the plane. Um, obviously, that's because the lines of latitude are not, are not the same amount, so when we get north, you know, one line of latitude, one degree of latitude is not worth much of an equator. And the same longitude, the longitude. Yeah, it sucks that uh, my uh, chat is on. Uh, to be chatting with people. Uh, I mean, we're really nothing. These other people's got a good whole thing, so we can probably just call it now. Figure out what's going on with that. Um, so the roots, the roots are fine on this. Um, and probably me and Eddie can call because this don't. He's asking for. Uh, uh, Phone number or whatever. I don't know. The one that's the worst map, the worst possible map is the only fully roosted bit there, the one that go through or close to the North Pole. Australia has gone through North America and went up to Australia at the top. Alright, well, I'm going to watch this other free or flat earth, and then when that's done, we should start back up. Twice as far as what you're going to get away from. You're right, we'll go in the East later on this channel. Australia. Places like that, or you can go west. You can go back to to the west to to go to Johannesburg. Yeah, it fixes things. Pretty accurate. Is, you know, that the land masses are shown in yeah. I've got no idea why this map isn't used anyway. Um, people who use this map are the CIA um, and also NASA. NASA's got it. It's a little boring. Uh, there's another live stream going on right now. Who's still with me? That's why I think they've joined up as well. Uh, in the same way that uh, my buddy just went. took off. If you want to come on in, uh, send me that link. And uh, send me the link. Hold on. He's still living there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we've got. More work needs to be done on this. Uh, you know, oh, you still in, bro? The boots and things like that, but as you can see, uh, I'll put a link in the chat if you want to join. They are narrow, of course, as they are the globe. Um, whereas, um, Robert yeah, anybody wants to join and discuss anything, just go ahead and the links in the chat. They are, as they are, on the globe, they are the it's a flat air flat. Same it works. So the only concept that people really need to get their heads around, you know, God created this place, and uh, he was far more sophisticated than to put cheese down over the top of it. I don't think. I don't know if God created this place. 
I don't really know if that's true. Okay. Um, and if you look at where this um, international... Oh, he's flat earthers make me need a beer. <laughs> Uh, and it comes up uh, what are you guys doing out there in flat earth land? Russia. Um, that's the place, you know, where it's 50 miles across. Link is in the chat. Join the channel and we can discuss the flat earth. <laughs> There's also another live stream going on on um, the Flat Earth Conspiracy. It's called Free or Flat Earth. This is a little boring. I can put up some fake NASA footage. Uh, 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 but yeah, I'll be on this channel later. See what's up with them tonight. You came out here in like 20 minutes or it's like over. There were some good Flat Earth videos coming out today. Uh, I was sort of trying to catch up uh, where I was at. Because I hadn't looked in a few days. But there is a curve somewhere around three to five, four inches. So you're saying? Hey man, I'm gonna go to the gas station real quick. I'll be right back. All right, man. And Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. Because the earth is flat. Yeah, if anybody wants to join, the link is in the chat. Um, I'm pretty new at Google Hangouts, so trying to figure some stuff out at the same time. Uh, Lori Ferry and Lawrence or whatever are doing a flat earth conspiracy hangout. Where they're looking at a diamond shaped world, which is a little believable. Which that would make it even bigger than what uh, they're saying. Even bigger than three times the size. Yeah. 
Well, uh, yesterday on Ace McLeod's channel, we had a troll come in and just rage out for about two minutes. That was funny. A lot of people that think they're like veteran flat earthers and stuff. It's just like, oh, you started the, uh, oh, you started the wake up call, yeah. No. Started the psyop. Can't trust anybody in this movement. Looking up some flat earth videos here. Some flat earth clues and other opportunities. My Mark Sargent has a new video today. Ron Johnson did a very uh, good video called Flat Earth Psyop, the section for beginner. Uh, this came out today, which unfortunately has, uh, it's a horrible example of, uh, of what's going on. They look real, but they're not real. They admit that. They're not real. So the question is, what are they hiding? That's the question here. What are they hiding? What it is, we don't know, but they're hiding something. And the flat earth theory becomes a likely candidate for psychological operations so that you won't explore other possibilities. People are so in love right now with the flat earth theory, they're ignoring the other possibilities that are out there. We know, everyone knows NASA images cannot be used in the argument for or against either model. The only thing we can say for sure is either we are the exception or we are the rule. Either our planet is flat and there are other flat celestial bodies out there, or we are the only one. If the Earth is flat, then why hasn't anyone out there been able to produce an image of a flat planet? Because there are no images out there of flat planets. Nobody's seen one. So either we are the exception or we are the rule. The only fallback argument flat earthers can have at this stage is to argue that everything is a virtual projection in a matrix. If you want to argue that, that's fine. It's a possibility. Anything is possible. The fact is we don't know what is being hidden from us with the Photoshop pictures from NASA. We covered these possibilities extensively yesterday, and everything seemed to go quite well until we touched a nerve with the curvature of the Earth between Michigan City, Indiana, and Chicago. Many people claim the rate of curvature was 8 inches per mile squared. Yes, squared. Yesterday, we reported 8 inches per mile, not squared. As per the PSYOP results listed on Google.com, that's what Google said, that's what we reported. We're going to revisit the map here by simplifying a very complicated equation. This flat earth speaker here says it's 37 miles to Chicago from this vantage point over Lake Michigan. He goes on to say there should be 912 feet of curvature showing up here in this very picture. Now we found a better image from this exact same vantage point. Now, according to the equation, 8 inches of curvature per mile squared, 8 inches times 37 miles times 37 miles, we should be seeing a 912-foot curvature of the Earth, or 90 stories in this image, so that we'd only be able to see the antennas on top of the Sears Tower. But that's not the observable curvature, is it? In fact, we see most of the tower. Let's zoom in and have a better look. Of course, we'll provide... Okay, so... Basically, he's saying that he's going to work it out to like 3.5 3 to 4 inches of curvature per mile squared. Meaning that the planet's like three times the size of what they're saying that it is. So, this is more likely than the flat earth theory.
However, the part that we're only allowed to go on is relatively flat. Anyways, for that and for now, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Um, just kind of gonna hang out up, but uh, I'd like to figure this out a little bit about what actually is going on. That other video was boring as hell, though. All right, so this, in my my uh, estimate, is um. This is sort of like uh, I think it was a guy named Bob or something was talking about uh, how this, there's the movement of Christianity. Like Christianity started as much like a flat Earth movement, uh, and that's pretty much what it what it comes down to is there's a group of people that are. It's beyond their control, and they don't realize that they're doing it, but they're trying to start a movement such as Christianity. It's people call it a call or a religion. It's a natural expression that's coming out of the population. And to co-opt and to use these people to push a flat earth deception is, and then it's just morphed into uh, sorting out the truth in the, in the false reality. So, you know, that's, that's what it's coming down to, in my opinion. Is that the flat earth may or may not be uh, real. I'm leaning towards that it's not flat. And I'm leaning more towards that they're hiding a company continent the size of Africa or bigger from everybody else. So we can't, we can't go make a new America. We're not allowed to, by law. Uh, yeah, all right, guys, I'll start up another stream uh, in a little bit. It's a break, see what happens. Let me figure out some controls. There's not much people on anyways. And uh, Ace McLeod, he'll be on later, I'm sure. I might uh, join them up. 